Hello, Iliana. Hi. <laughs> How's it going today? Hi, everybody. Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Good evening. How are you doing? Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, teacher. Hello. Hi, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Great to hear you. How are you doing today? How's everybody? Excuse me, teacher. I'm working now. Oh, all right, I see. Thanks a lot. Gracias por, por conectarse y acompañarnos in that case. Me voy a conectar, pero solo con audio, solo voy a estar escuchando. Okay, okay, perfect. That's all right. Thank you okay. so much for that. Um, hi, Iris. Good evening. Great to see you. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están, guys? How are you? Is everybody good? Good. Buenas noches, teacher. Ya estoy aquí presente. Perdone si ya pasó lista, me voy conectando. No, Miss, no se preocupe. Ahorita vamos, de hecho, a iniciar. Así que viene, like, in a really good time. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to see you there. Already. Bueno. So, guys, uh, thanks a lot for joining. Gracias por acompañarnos today. Um, I truly appreciate it. Uh, estamos en la sesión número 17. Así que contando o descontando la de ahora, nos quedan solamente dos, you know. Um, no, I'm sorry, es número 18. Estoy contando las dos, menos. So today is number 18. Terminamos módulo este día miércoles, right? Agradecerles a quienes ya completaron la plataforma. I was checking y algunos pues ya están super ready. Uh, ya solamente nos quedamos con la parte de speaking practice. Um, and, and thank you so much for that. Gracias por ayudarme con la camarita también. Thank you so much. I see Caleb, Daniel, uh, Miss Portillo. Great to see you. Estela, good evening. Hi, Lisette. I'm glad to see you there. Edwin, hey, thanks for turning on your camera. I'm glad to see your face. Amanda, le agradezco enormemente. Yo sé que está trabajando, pero gracias por estar acá. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, Christian. See you already. Um, Candy, hi Candy, good evening. Fatima, hello, great to see you there as well. Uh, Carol, I see Karen as well. So thank you guys. Gracias por acompañarnos one more day. Well, Ileana, la vi super tempranito. Sorry, I didn't, uh, you know, say hello. <laughs> All right. So espero que hayan tenido un buen fin de semana. Trabajaron, descansaron. Guys, ¿qué hicieron? What do you do? Everything good. I saw you viendo, así que I don't know how it was. Descansaron un poco, se quedaron en sus casas. How was that? Good evening, teacher. Oh, hola, Miss. Great to hear you. Yes, I work on the weekend. I worked both days, Saturday and Sunday. Did you work on Saturday and Sunday? Ambos días, both day. Yes, teacher. Oh, my dear, I'm sorry to hear that. 
Pero, you know, that, that's amazing. You are a so hardworking woman. <laughs> so that is great, you know. Well, espero que le den un día de descanso durante la semana so you can compensate a little bit and rest. Yeah, I know, a, a estos meses como que es un poco más pesados, right? Eh, si alguien trabaja como en promociones, ventas, things like those. Los últimos meses del año vienen difíciles, pero, pero lo importante, guys, es que, um, que logren, you know, el objetivo que tenían para este año, right? Ya sea trabajar más, make more money, <laughs> or aprender inglés, que es lo que estamos haciendo at this point, right? Um, guys, vamos, les voy a tomar asistencia really quick antes que podamos dar inicio con las actividades del día de ahora. Si me pueden ayudar con su camarita, that would be just wonderful. <coughs> Uh, so we can get, you know, the verbal confirmation, al igual que, you know, your picture here. So, denme un segundo, lo voy a dejar de compartir mi cámara para que, you know, nos quede también la grabación. Solo me regalan confirmación verbal. All right. So, um, Amanda, yo sé que estamos por... Well, gracias, Amanda. Thank you so much. I see you already. Okay. Great. Caleg, regáleme confirmación, por favor. Presente, teacher. Gracias. Eh, Candy, Candy, Candy. Ya la vi no. por ahí. Hi, Candy. Thank you. Hi. Hey there, Carol. Presente. Gracias, Carol. Thank you so much. Christian. Presente. Sí, lo acabo de ver. Thank you so much. I see you already. Daniel. Gracias, Daniel. Christian, are you all right? Are you fine? Lo veo con la, con la face mask. Are, sí, que estoy you... en el trabajo. Oh, wow, thanks a lot. Gracias por conectarse desde el trabajo. All right. Yeah, I was like, ¿está enfermo o es como la otra opción, right? O está en la oficina todavía. Thank you so much for that. All right. Delmi. Delmi, creo que no le he visto por acá. Hola, Edwin. aquí estoy. Ah, sí, ya estamos ahí. Perfect. Thank you, Delmi. Great. Edwin, vi hace unos segunditos a Edwin. Gracias. Thank you for that. Estela, vi también a Estela super early. There we go. Thank you so much. Fátima del Carmen. Estoy por ella, Fátima. Gracias, Miss. Flor de María. No, right. It's not there. Iris Funes. No. Iris Portillo. Miss Portillo. Presente, teacher. Here we go. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Iris Barrera. Presente, teacher. Perfect. Thank you. Mr. Ramirez. Hi, Julio. Gracias por la camarita. Thank Present you for teacher. getting the camera ready. Uh, Karen Rivera. Regáleme confirmation, Karen, por favor. Presente. Perfect. Thank you. Levin. Eh, Levin estaba solo con el audio. Thank you for that. Um, Lisa del Carmen, Lisa, regálame confirmation, por favor. Gracias, Marta Godínez. Thank you. Marta, Marta. No, I don't see her yet. René Avendaño, Mr. Avendaño, creo que lo hubiese unos segundos conectado. Thank Hi. you. Thanks for joining. Eh, Ileana Calderón, regálame confirmación, por favor, Ileana. Good evening, teacher. Present. Thank you. Kenny. I don't see Kenny yet. And no, no, Enrique. No, I don't think I see him there. Okay. All right. No, I think we're good. Okay, guys. So we are going to get started with station number 18. Vamos por la número 18, right? Um, so. Let's, vamos a comenzar re, revisando algunas cosas que vimos la semana anterior. Estuvimos revisando. Creo que está en mute. Oh. Perdón, me muteé yo sola. 
thank you. You're right. No, I'm sorry. I was mute. I was mute. All right. So here we have this little description, right? Uh, we have this thing that is called, what is the place? So um, I just want you to help me out and tell me, ¿cómo se le llama a este lugar? Why, how do we call the place? No like Pizza Hut, no like China Walk, no el nombre específico del lugar, sino en general, ¿cómo le llamamos a estos lugares, right? For example, letter A. In this place, you can buy dolls, teddy bears, cars, kites, and your toy chest. How do we call the places where you can buy this? What is this? Letter A, the first. Playtos. Mm -hmm. How do we call those places like Juguetón and things like those? Anybody? Uh, Yes, does anybody want to give it a try? Vimos la semana anterior que había una palabrita que le llamamos como a las tiendas, right? So for all the different tienditas, utilizamos Store. esta palabra. Store. Store. Okay, very good. Store. Store. Now, Store. ¿qué se ven? Exactly. Now, ¿qué se vende en esta tienda? What do, we, what do they sell in the, in the store? Toys. Oh. Yes, so that is called a toy store. Exactly. That is a toy store. So like Teleton, I mean Teleton, no. <laughs> Juguetón. <laughs> so, yeah, no la Teleton. That's a different thing. <laughs> yeah, but that is a toy store. Una tienda de juguetes, right? Una juguetería. So that would be the one. Uh, letter B. You can borrow interesting books here. Letter B. What is letter B? How do you call the place? Library. What is it? Library. What are you saying? Library. 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 Perfect. Yeah. Exactly. That is a library. Yes. So that is exactly a library. You can borrow books here. To borrow is pedir prestado, right? That is the one. Letter C. This is where you go if you want to buy a pet. What is letter C? Pet store. Very good, that's a pet store, exactly. Letter D, doctors and nurses take care of sick people in this place. What is this? Doctors and nurses take care of sick hospital? people. Hospital. hospital, very good, yes, that's a hospital. Letter E, wild animals from all over the world can be seen here, what's that? Zoológico. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's a zoo. What exactly. Zoo? Yeah, we got it. You got mm. it. No worries. Exactly. That's a zoo. Very good. Letter F. Da -da -da -da. You can have lunch or dinner here. What's that? Restaurant. Perfect. Yeah, that's a restaurant. Easy. Very nice. Letter G. You can buy stamps. And send letters here. Oh, last week, estamos revisando, like, you told me there is one in Merriot, I think, one in Cerca de Tienda Morena in Santa Tecla, one in Centro de Gobierno. What is this? You can, you can buy stamps uh -huh, and send letters. Okay. Uh, you, told, you told me last week. Me lo dijeron la semana anterior. Yes. Post office. Perfect. That's a post office. Very good. Exactly. Post office. Letter H. This is where you buy fresh fruit and vegetables. Where do you buy fresh fruit and vegetables? Supermarket. Supermarket. Probably a supermarket, a market, okay, mall. yes, a mall, probably. Hay otro lugar, there is another place que le llamamos grocery store. Normally a grocery store, un mercado es un market, so supermarket and market. <laughs> yeah, that's a market. Solo le quitamos lo de super. <laughs> yes. Um, la grocery store es como estas tienditas que solo son para frutas, verduras y cosas de primera necesidad del estate. También podría ser una grocery store. 
let's go with letter I. Here you can watch films while you eat popcorn and drink soda. This is? Cinema. Cinema. A cinema, all right. A movie theater, right? Perfect, very good. Letter J. People who protect the city against outlaws work here. This is difficult, I think. <laughs> People who protect the city against outlaws work here. A person. Iliana? No. Diana, le escucho, le escucho, pero un poquito lejos. No la logro escuchar bien. Ileana me escucha. Que Agencia. Yo... Agencia. Agencia. It says people who protect the city against. I mean, uh, for example, quienes trabajan con leyes, who work with laws? Ay. <clears throat> what is the occupation? <inaudible> ¿Cómo, cómo se, uh -huh, how do we call? Abogado. Okay, that's a lawyer, exactly. Now, ¿a dónde trabajan los lawyers? Where do they work? So a lawyer that protects and now the point is where do they work? ¿A dónde trabajan? En una oficina jurídica, ¿cómo se diría? O la oh, fiscalía. Okay. Like in an office? Okay. Yes. Yeah, actually that's why. Era un poco más difícil. <laughs> but we can call it a court. So they work in court or they work in an office. Yeah, so it's just an office or in the court. All right, great guys, very good job with this. That was nice, that was a little hard, the last one, but you did it very, very well. All right, today, vamos a trabajar un poquito con vocabulario, vamos a revisar un par de palabras nuevas para que luego podamos describir algunos lugares. So bear with me just a moment. Uh, sí, ok. Now, si logran ver, acá tenemos algunos, algunas palabritas que nos van a ayudar a describir lugares, ciudades, pueblos, etc. So, primero practiquemos la pronunciation y luego vamos a revisar el significado de cada una. Por supuesto, si lo quieren hacer, you know, mientras tanto lo revisan rapidito, palabras nuevas, siéntanse con toda la libertad de hacerlo. So, repiten conmigo. Charming. 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 Contaminated. Contaminated. Contemporary. Contemporary. Cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan. Crowder. 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 Fascinating. Fascinating. Yeah. Huge. 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 Good. Industrial. Industrial. Large. Industrial. Large. 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 It's como una H, right? So large. Uh-huh. Polluted. 
that fit into this category. For example, a place that is charming. All right, in English, hay varias formas de decir como bonito, no necesariamente para todo es beautiful, right? So, which of these words, cuál de estas palabras consideran que lo podemos usar en vez de bonito, en vez de beautiful? Magical. Fascinating. Magical, fascinating, exactly. Any other? Tenemos otra? Any other? Be brunt. Yeah, probably this one. So, in this, and also we have la primera de acá que es charming. So, un lugar que es charming, fascinating. Uh, probably romantic, right? Probably magical. So, son palabras que vamos a usar en vez de beautiful, exactly. So beautiful, or we use any of them. Now, contaminated, contaminated and polluted son lo mismo, right? So, the place is contaminated, the place is polluted. Uh, the river is polluted, or the river is contaminated. So, contaminated, polluted, they are the same. Now, ¿cuál de estas palabras puedo usar para lugares que son grandes, que son muy grandes? Hay dos. There are two. Large. 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 Y hay otra. There is another. Large. Huge. 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 Perfect. Huge and large significan big. Son grandes, lugares muy grandes. So, when you say, oh, the place is huge. Huge es como enorme, right? So, huge and large. Ambos son grandes, right? Then we have other words, for example, ¿cuál, ¿cuál utilizo para lugares como muy tranquilitos, muy relajados? Hay dos palabras, there are two words. Witty, quiet, 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 Exactly, we have this one, so peaceful, the place is peaceful, or the place is quiet, very quiet, quiet, quiet. The place is quiet or the place is peaceful. So that means bien tranquilo, bien callado. All right. We have other words, for example, contemporary. ¿Qué, qué entienden por contemporary? What is that, guys? Contemporáneo. Un lugar que es contemporáneo. Okay. Puede ser mm -hmm. moderno también, right? It can also be modern. So todo depende. Something? Oh, ya, yeah. uh -huh. yeah, normal y contemporary tiene mucho que ver con el arte, right? Eso puede ser old o puede ser modern, and both are just fine. Cosmopolitan, mm, I would say in El Salvador no tenemos lugares cosmopolitan. Eh, this one refers more to lugares que tienen como mucha, mucha, um, I would say, Um, muchas culturas juntas, you know, como por ejemplo que en un pueblito vivan personas con cultura, no sé, africana, let's say, latinoamericana, americana. So that is cosmopolitan. This is more for countries like UK, right? Es más como el Reino Unido, Estados Unidos, lugares donde llegan muchas más culturas. En El Salvador, Probablemente haya una persona, pero no comunidades enteras, right? So, probably no aplica para nosotros, but ya vamos a encontrar dónde utilizarlo. Now, the next word we have is crowded. So, crowded means full of people, right? Ya casi viene, guys, en noviembre, el Black Friday. ¿Alguien alguna vez ha ido a un shopping mall en Black Friday? O si trabajan en un Black Friday, ¿cómo se pone, guys? Crowded. Crowded, like full of people, pero llenísimo. Esa palabra lleno de personas es crowded. Uh, the last the, time, the others, uh -huh. the last time I went to buy something on Curacao Friday, uh -huh. and it was very crowded. Oh, okay, Curacao, Prado, I know all of them. So that gets crowded. ¿Qué otros lugares se pone crowded y en qué fechas, guys? Multiplaza on the Thanksgiving or, or Christmas. Okay, so for Christmas, right? So probably Christmas, any other? Well, I remember, for example, ir a las playas en Semana Santa o en vacación. So that gets super crowded. Any other time? Otra fecha que se recuerden? Uh, 
or another place? On Easter? Probably, okay, on the holiday week. Easter? All right, yeah, probably. Uh, the same. Yes, yes, Eastern. The thing is that nosotros le llamamos más como Semana Santa. We don't really celebrate Eastern, but yeah, it's the same. Oh, oh, for example, cuando estaban estos partidos, right, del Salvador, todo el mundo estaba apoyando, like, El Salvador versus Mexico versus these countries. Um, y los estadios, they were super crowded. ¿Alguien fue a apoyar a la Selecta, guys? Did you go to the stadium? No. No, because they are losers. Oh, okay. No, but I mean, en algún momento todos les creímos. So we were like, oh, please, El Salvador, yeah, yeah. you don't get it. Nobody lost, went? Sorry, teacher. I lost my class for, for was see that in and out. You went to the stadium. No, for sure not. Or, or just to watch it's, it. A lot, of, a lot of violence in, in these places. Oh, okay. But did you watch the match or did you go to the stadium? Just watch. Okay. And you and didn't I, and have I, English classes. Yeah, for sure. Oh. And and they're losers. This is this is yeah, they lost the game. No, my yeah. friend, but you, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> yeah, don't lose yeah, classes, this, uh, guys. It's um, very important, I know, but this it was my mistake. It was well, but you past. believe them a little bit. All right. And that's okay. We did. We, everybody did. Um, so, guys, what about the rest? Have you ever been to a concert? ¿Alguien ha ido a algún concierto that was really crowded? Concert, matches, no? Places? ¿Hay algún lugar que siempre está como muy lleno that is crowded all the time? The banks. The banks, okay, <laughs> especially agricola, right? Uh, yes. So agricola, uh, creo que incluiría yo por ahí a Tigo también. <laughs> so Tigo <laughs> customer service is crowded all the time. Any other? Otro lugar que esté crowded? Es cierto, la agricola siempre está lleno. It's crowded all the time. Any other place? Uh, maybe hospital. Hospital. In hospital all right seguro social now that you say it oh my god i creo que no, no había ido en años i hadn't been to seguro social in years and last time i went esperé como tres cuatro horas you know solo para entrar so that was like oh my god that's so crowded you're right you're right okay so that is crowded Um, and then, ya revisamos el resto, solo nos falta industrial. So, industrial, obviously, se refiere a maquinaria, lugares donde hay muchas empresas, or factories. Uh, en El Salvador, ¿cuáles son algunas industrial areas? Like Antiguo Cuscatlán, San Marcos, any other? ¿Y los no, no, no idea. Just Just, Just two. two. Creería yeah. que también después de Locuita, I think that after Locuita, on the way to Zacate Coluca, there is an industrial area, pero no soy segura, I'm not sure. Do you know? Pedregal, Where living? Uh, like it's going to Pedregal, I think. Oh, oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. On the way to El Pedregal, exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. I think I have heard about it. Mm -hmm. So that is kind of industrial. A lot of people go there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, creo que hay textiles, hay empresas de textiles still. Mm -hmm. yes. Also here, guys, we got some words, por ejemplo, lively, lively and vibrant, son como lugares que todo el tiempo están llenos de vida, you know, no necesariamente crowded, pero que es bien interesante ir porque hay uh, music, people dancing, activities. Like a disco, Like el tunco. No necessarily. Yeah, could be like El Tunco. Yeah. Any other place that you consider is lively? Que toda la, toda la, el tiempo tiene como muchas actividades. Creo que por COVID, la mayoría de lugares dejó de hacer como tourism and things like that. El Chapulte is lively because every day is crowded. Oh, okay. All right. 
Yeah, probably algunos bars, right? Like Chapulte. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. <laughs> okay. And the last one is Vibrant, the one that we have right there. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, so what I want you to do is really easy. I want you to think de, esto, de todos esos adjetivos from the ones that we have here. Quiero que escojan cinco lugares. Select five places. Y los describen con los que ustedes consideran que aplican, right? For example, the place that I can select is, um, okay, hablando de bancos, you know, for example, BAC, let's say, Banco Creomatic. So I think that uh, BAC is very quiet. It is not so crowded, so casi no está lleno. It's not so crowded. It's very quiet, you know, there is not much noise. Um, and that's it. <laughs> that is the one that I can think of. So, escojan cinco lugares. Select five places. Eh, les voy a escribir unos adjetivos más acá en caso los necesiten. Por ejemplo, tenemos noisy, que es lo opuesto a quiet, right? So, noisy es algo ruidoso, something that is very noisy, como cuando van a Metro Centro, for example, that is crowded, it is noisy, or you go to a hospital and it's very noisy. So let me think about other, or we have, for example, dangerous, right? And also we have safe. So dangerous, un lugar que es un poco peligroso. And also we have safe, que es lo opuesto, un lugar que es bastante seguro. Chicos, les doy tres minutitos. I'll give you three minutes. Write your examples, escríbanlos, me los pueden compartir en el chat, right? So we can take a look at them. Y ahorita seguimos. Three minutes. One more minute.
Okay, guys, so give me a couple of examples, please. Uh, let me listen to your voices. Guys, me escuchan bien. Can you hear me well? Es que de repente se me apagan las cámaras, pero no sé si es mi internet que no, que se está quebrando. Me, me estoy quebrando. Am I breaking? No, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. Perfect. Thank you for that. Okay, guys, so tell me a little bit about the places. ¿Qué lugares seleccionaron and what can you tell me about that? Daniel, yes, Daniel, go. <laughs> go <No>. for it. <laughs> No esperaba que me llamara. No, como no, si sí, es la oportunidad de brillar. This is your moment to shine. Come on, go ahead. Solo una porque me costó pensar. No hay problema. Ah, no hay problema. It's okay. Tell us. Este, montaña rusa, ¿cómo se dice? Okay, so that can be the roller coaster. Ah, sí, es que yo sí lo tenía, pero dije nombre propio y lo voy a decir normal. No lo dude. <laughs> Don't vale. hesitate. Okay, go ahead. The roller coaster is very dangerous for people with health problems. Oh, I like that. That's a very good example. So the roller coaster is a dangerous, uh, it's dangerous for people with heart problems. Very nice. Okay. And that's true. Well, también es peligroso en general. You know, si se vuelca esa cosa, right? <laughs> okay. Principalmente para los que parecen de corazón. Yeah, that's right. Good example. Very good. Guys, anybody else? Del me, go, del me. Ya la vi que quiere estar ready to participate. Come on, go ahead. Paseo el Carmen. Mm -hmm. is a fascinating and very modern, very modern place with crowded. Mm, that's right. So it's crowded, modern, quite fascinating. All right. That's a very nice description. Uh, no, <laughs> no, but it's okay. Your example is nice. The puso varios juntos. I like that. All right. Good. Kalek. Let's go ahead, Kalek. I don't know why, but your name solamente me recuerda a Superman. So. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me a lot <laughs> of Superman. Go ahead, Kale. Uh, the, El Pichal is, is a very magical. Wow. Uh, he is in, he's a da, danger, dangerous. Oh, all right. Okay. El pital is dangerous. Why? Mm. I escuchado oh. una historia. Have you heard any story about el pital? Uh, no, más que todo así como, como por decirlo por la llegada y todo eso. Como la carretera, so the, the street, the, the road. Ajá. Okay, got it, got it. So the the road. The road uh -huh. is dangerous. Es cierto. That's, that's so true. Okay. So the road is dangerous. Okay. And the place is magical. Nice description. I like it. Ileana, go, Ileana. I can see you. <laughs> go for it. Oh, no, no worries. No worries. Termina lo regreso. I'll come back to you. It's okay. Lisset, tell us, Lisset. What do you have? Um, my example is so gracioso, funny. Uh -huh. I don't understand good the exercise, but oh, uh -huh. the place dangerous uh -huh. for visiting the, the dangerous for uh -huh. visiting uh, is the center historico. Ah, okay. That's a, you know that's interesting. So centro histórico, uh -huh. you say, can be a little dangerous. Guys, alguien ha ido al centro histórico. Lizette, have you been to centro histórico recentemente, recently? Uh, that, place, that place is not dangerous. Be before the before the time, of course, but now it's not dangerous. Actually, yes, it's dangerous. Yeah. 
That, that was there, my question to Lisette because there are a lot of, uh -huh. it, it, it's a it's a it's a wonderful place because sometimes I go to there with my I go to there with with my wife and my daughter and oh. we enjoy in the okay. restaurant cha 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 you know I haven't been there okay so but but I think Lisette Lisette wants to to mention something. So yes, Lisa, tell us, ¿qué es lo que hay? You say there are? There are a lot of thieves. Oh, yes. todavía. <laughs> It's still. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. But uh -huh. tenido, have you had like, um, like a recent experience? ¿Ha tenido alguna like experiencia recientemente there? Recently, no, but in the past, yes. Okay, when you say it in the past, you mean last year, hace dos años, two years ago? Uh, no, around two years, around two years. Oh, okay, so two years yes. ago. Yeah, because I knew that it was a little dangerous, guys. ¿Alguien ha ido al Centro Histórico? Have you been to Centro Histórico recently? So you can give us your experience as well and you can tell us. No, Estela, no. I go been there, there, teacher, because I I live no I, I live near near Centro Histórico. Oh, okay. So you live near Centro Histórico. All right. Por eso no le parece peligroso, No es cierto. Por ejemplo, para donde vivo, toda la gente dice que es súper peligroso, verdad. Pero yo consiento de que no. Oh, okay, yeah, I mean, <laughs> to be honest with you, <laughs> yo no he ido en años. I'm, 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 I'm a very honest. Because for me, that was still dangerous, but, pero se ha escuchado que las personas van, you know, and they have fun, so I'm like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but who knows? That's a very good point. Carol, um, tell us, Carol, are you, are you around, Carol? ¿Cómo? No lo entiendo. Hola, Miss. Hello, hello. Díganos sus ejemplos. What are your examples? Sí. Yo solo logré este, hacer uno. Incluir no varios. problem. Yeah, no that's problem. okay. No, no, no. That's perfect. No sé si está bueno, pero lo voy a decir. No, hombre, Miss. Tranquila. <laughs> Díganlo. That's okay. Let, like, what? No, ¿cómo se dice el lago? Like it. No. Eh, the lake. lake. The lake. Uh, the lake mm -hmm. is charming, uh, okay. yet magical place. Oh, that was a nice one. So you said that was like a magical place that was quiet. Creo que me escuché esto, right? Quiet. Uh -huh, quiet. Okay, so charming, quiet, and magical. Yes. Oh, no, era charming. Ya le agregué, creo. No, sí, sí. <laughs> I, yes, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. So, entonces escuché bien. So, magical, charming, and quiet. Nice. De hecho, he escuchado que a muchas personas les gusta el Coatepec. So, great. That was a nice one. Um, Ileana estaba pendiente de regresar con usted. I'm coming back. <laughs> okay. okay. If you are ready, go for it. Okay. The pig. The pig is a charming okay. place with a uh, <clears throat> fascinant. Okay. Um, Will, um, magical, and go right. with the family and friends. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I just want to get the place. Mencionó como el, el, el tunco, like the tunco's beach. Oh. Or el beach. Uh, uh, no escuché como el lugar. I didn't listen to the place. The beach. El... The beach. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. So that was the beach. No, that was the beach. Nice. Nice. No, lo que sucede es que le escucho un poquito lejos, you know, pero no sé ah. si es probablemente el eh, uh, guys el la escuchan. No creo. creo que ustedes es el también la escuchan lejos o dice only me. Se escucha lejos. Sí, sí lejos. Se escucha un poco. Ah, okay. Es el audio, ok. Voy a revisar el audio. The, and the audífonos. Are you having earphones? Un alámbrico. Probablemente sea eso entonces, porque ya he escuchado varias veces que um, algunos que se recargan, yo no, know, cuando se les está acabando la batería, eh, okay. se, empieza a suceder eso. Ajá. So, no es que le pide que, 
le pido confirmar por algo más, Miss. No. <ríe> Eso es okay. lo que le escucho un poquito lejos. That's the only thing. All right. Okay, okay guys. Okay. Very good, very good. So let's take a look at the following. Here we have, look at the map. Vamos a revisar un poquito las prepositions. Look at the map. And then um, complete the sentences using the right preposition of place. They can be used more than one. Um, como decíamos la vez anterior, here no hay respuesta correcta o respuesta incorrecta. Probably puedo utilizar una o más, you know, formas de dar indicaciones. So this is what we will be doing. Look at the map. Veamos el mapa rapidito. Take a look at the map. Y vamos a identificar a dónde es que está. For example, Pimrose Town is a small town. Y luego está en la costa, right? So this one is on the coast. So what about the rest of them? Tenemos the bookshop. So take a look at the map. And you can see that the bookshop is... Permítame, solo voy a mover my thingy. The bookshop is right here. Se los voy a marcar con un corazoncito. Wait. Okay, so the, the bookshop is right here, right? In the heart. So, um, y tengo acá Pierce Bistro. ¿Cuál es la relación de ellos? ¿A dónde está? Where is the bookshop? In front of. Okay, perfect. In front of, okay, Pierce Bistro. Otra forma de decirlo u otra expresión que podemos utilizar. Across the street. Across, across the street. Probably. All right. No está muy claro. No sabemos si hay calle. Ya. Yeah. Puede ser in front of. Puede ser across from. ¿Qué otra palabra? Any other preposition. Near. Near to. Near. Perfect. Next to. Okay. Yes. Podría ser. It could be. Any other? Uh, between. The Ritz Hotel, Pierre Bistrom. Between. Uh, that could work, sin embargo, here, porque solamente tenemos uno, quizás no, no podríamos utilizar between. Pero es super ah. válido. It's super valid as well. Mm -hmm. No, está a la derecha o a la izquierda. Si lo ven mm -hmm. como caminando acá sobre Primrose Boulevard, estaría a la izquierda o estaría a la derecha. Which of them? At right. That's okay, right. so the bookshop is on the right of Pierre Bistro. I mean, hay muchas formas de decirlos, right? There are a lot of different ways to say it. Guys, eh, les voy a dar tres minutitos. I'll give you three minutes because I think we can do it. Solamente vayamos completándolo here. Uh, no es necesario que lo escriban. What you can do is, si están tomando nota en el cuaderno, escriban, por ejemplo, number one, la respuesta, number two, solo la respuesta para que no lo escriban todo. You don't have to write everything. So, three minutitos. I'll give you three minutes. <laughs> Hi, Kenny. Hi, Marta. Great to see you guys. Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay. How are you doing? Fine. All right. Great. Great to have you here. No, I don't have Thank you. 
One more minute. Ok, guys, so let's complete the exercise together. Vamos revisando si tenemos algo similar, right? Um, si su respuesta es diferente, it's ok, solamente compartámosla here. For example, number two, decíamos que podríamos utilizar varias formas. We can use a couple of ways here. En la parte de ello, lo voy a escribir acá. So, por ejemplo, podemos decir que the bookshop is in front of, right? So, in front of... Eh, the bistro, across from, on the right, near, y todas están super bien. What about the Ritz Hotel? Uh, está, dice, on the corner of. So the Ritz Hotel is, ya les di la respuesta. <laughs> okay, the Ritz Hotel is. ¿Qué vamos a utilizar acá? What can we use here? Es en la esquina. Nos falta una palabra que tiene dos letras acá. What can we use? At. In. At. In. La otra. In. At. La at. otra. <laughs> so that is on. Para la esquina utilizamos on. On the corner of. Ahora, está en la esquina de qué, guy? The red hotel is on the corner of. The park. Porque si se fijan, hay dos lugares. Dice on the corner of este and este otro. So, en la esquina estamos hablando de calles. Y si se fijan, the Ritz Hotel está ¿Es en este lugar. Estela. Well, eh, on, the, on the corner of West Street and West South Street. Street. Ah, West Street and... So, South Street, so very so good. Street. Exactly, yes. So it is on the corner of West Street and South Street. Okay, very good, exactly. Normalmente on the corner es para las calles, right? Very good. The bakery, veamos, ¿dónde está la bakery? Let's take a look at it. The bakery is the green one. So the bakery. Between. Ah, between. it's between. Perfect. Between. 
between. ¿Lo tenemos así, guys? Do you have it like this? Yes. Si tienen, si tienen algo diferente, let us know y lo comparamos, revisamos, no hay problema. The hospital. Now let's take a look. The hospital está acá como en red. So the hospital is department store. ¿A dónde está el hospital? Where is the hospital? Across from. Across from. Okay. Across from. Okay. So across from I, I the department store. I have a question. I have a question with this teacher. All right. Yes, Rene, tell me. But um, in this case, uh, maybe the question is uh, the hospital is okay. But if if maybe another another kind of kind of maybe an store, and okay. you say uh, maybe shoe store, okay, you can say it's inside. Okay. Um, you can say it's, like it's a, inside. It's, yeah, it's like a, um, the shoe store is inside to Multiplaza. Oh, yes, of course. Really? I mean, if we are talking, for example, the, the mall, the whole thing, um, sure. podríamos utilizar in, you can definitely use in, or you could use inside. To be honest, el inside is como, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, heard it, let's okay. say, for like a specific store, it's más como para personas, like, oh, she's inside, she's over there. Uh -huh. Pero okay. si se puede. Yeah, you could use but it. But it's not, it's not like a formal, or it's not like a, it's not like a, it's not it's like not, the say, best. I would say it's not common. More oh. than formal or informal, I would say it's not very common. Uh -huh. oh, but but yes, you can use it. I would say in es un poco más común de escuchar que inside, pero no es que esté equivocado inside. It's just not I just, very common. Just, if I said if I say it in, it's okay. Yeah, so yeah, like you can, for example, let me think. Um, you can say uh, in in Metro Centro, for example, there is a McDonald's. Yeah. So if you say in, I mean, ya entendí que está ahí, right? I I got that part. Pero imagínese que estoy, por ejemplo, in the parking lot y yeah. estoy buscando el McDonald's and I'm like, oh, I'm super lost. And where is the McDonald's? Sé que hay uno acá, but I don't know where it is. Oh, it's inside. So, como adentro del techo, you know, so también se puede, solo que es menos común. But yes. Oh, great. I, I understand. Yes, yes. Understand. Thank we you so much. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Let's go with number six. The gift shop. Um, where is the gift shop? Take a look at it. I'm, I'm moving this thing around. Okay. So the gift shop is right here. So it's the blue one. The gift shop is the left of the visitor center. Nos falta una expresión acá. Nos falta una preposition. Y tiene solo dos letras. What is this? Very good. On the left. Exactly. So this is on the left. And number seven, the swimming pool. The swimming pool is... Mm -hmm. The swimming pool is in the front. cinema. In front? In front. Okay, so the swimming pool is in front of the cinema. Do we agree? Tienen lo mismo? Do you have the same? Tienen algo diferente? What do you have? The swimming pool is in front of the cinema. Algo diferente, guys? Anything else? Across from the cinema is across from the swimming pool, probably, right? No tenemos acá mayor referencia, so we can use it. ¿Qué más? Any other possibility? Podría ser atrás. No. Yeah, why not? Podría ser atrás. It could be behind. So the swimming pool is behind the cinema, yes. Podríamos también utilizar near. Si no sé exactamente dónde está, pero está cerca. So, the swimming pool is near the cinema. And that's okay. That's all right. So, again, no hay respuesta que esté súper correcta, right? Puede ser varias opciones para la misma. Any question? ¿Tienen alguna duda con esto? Do you have any question? ¿Algo que no esté como muy claro? ¿Estamos bien? ¿Are we good? 
Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take it as a yes. All right. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the following here. Vamos a revisar un poquito de descripciones. Here we have, describe how my and other working places and areas look like. Oh, Kenny, please, ayúdame a leer esta parte de Mr. Paz. Help me read the description for this person. Uh, good evening, teacher. Um... Uh, read description. Hi, yes, please, yes. Mr. Paz. Only this one. Uh -huh. Okay. Only Mr. Paz. Uh, there is a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable. Yes, yes, you're good. Comfortable rooms. There's a huge, cook. huge, huge. Yes. There's a huge parking lot. There are three high stakes. Take. Take. Mm -hmm. Take. There are elevator. three. Oh, there are three high tech elevator. Perfect. Thank Mr. you so much. Exactly. So, guys, here we have Mr. Pass description. Uh, he says that there is a lobby, rooms. Parking lot and elevators. ¿En qué lugar está? Where is he? Can be hotel. Probably in a hotel, right? Now, let's take a look cuáles son las palabras que él utiliza. He says, beautiful lobby. Y esta palabra, this word, tiene dos pronunciaciones. Comfortable or comfortable. Como ustedes Com prefieran. Vamos a practicarlas. Let's repeat them. Leamos la primera. Comfortable. 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 Very good. Ahora la, se la segunda. Comfortable. 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 ¿Cuál prefieren? ¿Cuál es más fácil? No hay problema. It's ok. La que ustedes prefieran, that's all right. Ambas están bien. Solo no pronunciamos table, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's the only thing. Uh -huh. Comfortable. Comfortable or comfortable. Yo me acostumbré a decir comfortable. Me lo van a escuchar decir comfortable porque para mí es más corto y es más rápido. So, the other one is huge. ¿Qué dijimos que era huge? What is huge. the meaning of huge? Enorme. Big. Enorme, exacto, Enorme. grande, huge. huge. Right? Yeah. Y la última que tenemos es high tech. Tech de tecnología. Exacto. La tech, perdón, la tech. And por sorry, guys, vamos, vamos a la a la cápsula cultural de este día. <ríe> la CH algunas veces se pronuncia como una K de nuestro español, right? Entonces, en esta la pronunciamos como una K, tech. tech. Cuando usted dice, por ejemplo, technology, right? So, tech. Si usted pronuncia esta, por ejemplo, so, igual suena como una K, tech, tech, technology, mechanic. So, mechanic, mechanic. tech, technology, exactly. So, suena como una K, right? No siempre, pero algunas veces de esa forma se pronuncia para que sea más fácil for you to get it. Now, la segunda es Mrs. Story. Acá hay un error, tendría que ver la S. This is Mrs. Aguilar. Caleg, please, ayúdenos con su beautiful voice to read Mrs. Aguilar's description. Ok. There is a narrow reception art. There are two dirty dining, dining, room? dining room. There, there is an, um, um, an ugly. There is an ugly photocopy center. Mm -hmm. There are a small office. Mm -hmm. This Perfect. Aguilar. Yes, we got it. Thank you so much. All right, so we have here narrow. Okay, quite, dijimos que huge era enorme. Narrow, el opuesto. ¿Qué sería entonces narrow? What is narrow? 
It's like a small uh, thing. Um, kinda, so kinda. Zero. Es como small, pero es más como en, en dimensión. So this is estrecho, right? Estrecho. Narrow mm. es estrecho. Mm. Pueden ser para zapatos, tiny. pueden ser para lugares. Como tiny, exactly. So narrow es estrecho, un lugar que es estrecho. Um, the other one, we have dirty. Dirty or dirty? There are two dirty dining rooms. What is dirty? ¿Cuál es lo opuesto de dirty? What's the opposite? Clean. Clean, very good. Provecho, enjoy it. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I'm that sorry. is dirty. No, it's fine. You're good. So dirty, exactly. Un lugar que está muy sucio, right? The other one is ugly. ¿Qué es lo opuesto de ugly? What's the opposite? Ugly? Beautiful. Beautiful, Charming. perfect, exactly. So the opposite of ugly is beautiful, yeah. And the small, the opposite of a small is? Oh. It's large. Large, big, large. huge, okay. So perfect, that's okay. Now, ¿qué es lo diferente en estos ejemplos? What is the different thing? Que los adjetivos, guys, siempre van a ir. They will always, always, always go first. So, quiero describir, por ejemplo, I want to describe my room. Okay. Y yo digo, por ejemplo, las paredes son blancas y azules. Como si fuera la bandera del Salvador. <laughs> okay. So, there are... Y los colores siempre van primero. Los, la descrip, los descriptores siempre van primero. So there are blue and white wool. Right? So, colores siempre van primero. I want to say, for example, que hay un sillón bastante cómodo. So there is a comfortable or comfortable armchair. Right? So, hay como un, un sillón individual que es bastante como so, And um, I can say, hay un reloj que ya está quebrado, que está arruinado. So, there is, um, y quebrado o arruinado es broken. There is a broken watch. Well, en este caso sería un clock. There is a broken clock over my computer. Right? Um, hay una computadora nueva, so there is a new computer de hecho es una desktop there is a new desktop so, siempre que utilicemos colores descriptores, nuevo, viejo limpio, sucio, etc va a ir primero digo primero, pero de esto de lo que yo estoy describiendo so, blue and white wall comfortable armchair broken clock new computer So, van primero los adjetivos. Guys, vamos a describir un poquito su, um, su room, right? Su living room, su oficina, lo que ustedes quieran describir. Um, si se sienten cómodos todavía escribiéndolo primero, it's okay. Si consideran que ya lo pueden hacer un poco más independiente, so, no lo escriban. Solamente ordenen la idea en, en el aire, right? Empiecen a ordenarlo poquito a poquito. Pero something very important, no lo digan en su mente. A veces decimos, ah, voy a ordenarlo, voy a pensarlo. sino no, dígalo en voz alta. Si considera que puede ser un poquito más independiente, dígalo pero en voz alta. So describe your office, your room, or your house. Lo que sea más fácil at this point. I'll give you two minutes. Les voy a dar dos minutitos. Si lo quieren escribir y tomar notas, está súper bien. It's perfect. Si ya pueden hacerlo más independientes, quieren intentarlo, no lo escriban, pero díganlo, díganlo en voz alta, ordenen la idea en voz alta, siempre utilizando there is and there are, right? Two minutes, guys, dos minutitos.
Hello, teacher. Hello. I arrived to my, at home. Oh, great, great. Great to hear that. So I'm, I'm sorry, but I, but, I, but, I, but, I, but I was working. Yeah, no worries. Creo que también a couple. No, Iris ya llegó. This is there. Creo que había alguien más. Oh, Kristen, I remember. Todavía estaba trabajando too. ¿Qué más estaba en la hoja? Oh, todavía, right, Kristen? So you're still at the office? Todavía en la oficina? Yes, teacher. Wow. What time? What time do you finish working? Hasta mañana, me dice. Voy toda la noche. What? So, so horario es de noche. You work at night. Notativo. Notativo. Oh. Okay. Pero entro, to, entro ya tarde o está sí. todo el día ahí. No, entro tarde, a las nueve inicio. ¿A las nueve de la noche? Sí. Ay, qué genial, ahorita. Sí. <risa> so right now. Ok, bueno, pero me imagino que descansa mañana, así que gracias sí. por acompañarnos, All right. y por estar acá practicando. So, es de aprovechar entonces, Christian, so take advantage. <risa> Ya que tiene que desvelarse, let's make it work. Hagamos que valga la pena. <laughs> wow. All right. Guys, les he escrito en la izquierda, you know, so on your left, I have included some vocabulary, solo como un pequeño recordatorio de los opuestos. For example, we have small and we have big. We have soft, algo que sea como uh, suave. Or we have hard, cuando hablamos de materiales, por ejemplo, my bed is so hard. Algo que sea como... Um, what? Tal vez no necesariamente duro, pero que la consistencia se sea como no tan suave, right? So, uh, heavy. Heavy es algo muy pesado. And light es más liviano. So that, they are the opposite. Um, clean and dirty, right? So limpio, sucio. Messy, desordenado. And tidy, ordenado, that is the opposite. Messy, tidy. Narrow, algo bien estrecho, cuando hablamos de dimensión. Or wide, mucho más amplio. So wide is, is estrecho, and wide is ancho. Uh, new and old, comfortable, y lo opuesto que sería uncomfortable. So comfortable, uncomfortable. Or comfortable, uncomfortable, <laughs> and that's okay, so that is quite fine. Siempre van a ir antes de lo que yo estoy describiendo, right? Si son colores, antes de lo que yo estoy describiendo. Un minuto más, chicos, one more minute. Me indican si ya están listos o si necesitan más de un minuto as well. Let me know. What is the meaning of soft? Suave, como la tela, you know, como una cama, un sillón, un colchón, soft. Hard is, is like a, a positive. The, yeah, exactly. That's the opposite. Puede ser algo que sea más como duro. You know. Podría ser áspero también, right? Or it, it realmente depende de lo que estemos hablando. Podríamos utilizar that one. Podemos usar hard. Por ejemplo, si es un cepillo de dientes, podemos usar como hay unos que son unos cepillos que las cerdas son como bien tiesas. That would be hard. Mm. So, so depende de lo que estamos describiendo. Uh -huh.
Estamos listos. Are you ready? Necesitan más tiempo. Do you need more time? O podemos iniciar. Can we get started? Si necesitan más tiempo, let me know. Uh, we are going. We are going to talk about about uh, the this uh, the those uh, additives. Yeah, that's right. Vamos a describirlos. Okay. We are going to describe this thing. Mm, but I I didn't understand about about you say that uh, there are and there is. We are going to use that. But what? Yep. Oh. And uh, we are going to pretty much do this. You're going to describe your office, your room, or your house. Ah, with the with with with, with, with all adjectives. And the with adjective, the, that's correct. With the, with the adjective. Yeah, vamos a incluir okay. todas estas cosas. Adjectives, okay. there is there are, and descriptors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys. So vamos a aplicar la misma actividad que hicimos last week. That means, vamos a intentar decirlo varias veces, right? Entre más repitan, chicos, esto se va a volver más fácil. So, at the beginning, es necesario que lo repitamos como que si fuéramos periquitos, you know? There, there are, there are, there are, hasta que salga. There is, there is, there is, there is a broken, there is a broken cloud, there is a broken cloud, hasta que salga normal. So, la primera vez, it's okay, léanlo, read them, tómense su tiempo, revisen pronunciation de las palabras que son nuevas, that's okay. La segunda vez que lo intenten decir, ya no lo lean, solamente denle una ojeadita rapidito, intenten decirlo porque es lo mismo que ustedes tienen en su casa o en la oficina. Solamente es de recordarse cómo expresarlo. And si tenemos tiempo de decirlo una tercera vez, ya cierre el cuaderno y you no know? <risa> intente decirlo. Try to say it. La idea es que nos volvamos más independientes y que no nos acostumbremos tanto a leerlo. Because at the end lo que necesitamos es comunicarnos. Eso lo hacemos mediante la práctica, right? So, Um, guys, eh, yo sé que algunas veces hay algunos compañeros que han practicado más, you know, tienen más tiempo practicing. So, si tenemos, you know, the chance de pedirle ayuda a alguien o queremos confirmar algo, siéntanse con toda la libertad de hacerlo. Siempre cuando lo hagamos con respeto, no creo que alguien se vaya a sentir mal que nos corrijan o que nos digan, oh, eso no sería así, you know. But um, intentemos manejarlo con respeto, you know, and, and I think that's fine. Um, si hay algo que no están seguros, que quieran revisar, que quieran confirmar, escríbanme, you know. Or vamos a ir ahorita a los grupos. En el grupo hay un signo de interrogación que dice pedir ayuda. Es como que me estén llamando, como, hey, teacher, venga aquí. Eso es, para eso es el signo de interrogación. So, si hay algo que no están seguros, llámenme, you know, y con gusto yo llego por ahí. Well, de hecho, voy a llegar por ahí in a moment. So, one more time. La primera vez, leanlo. That's okay, that's fine. Revisemos la pronunciación de there is. Not they is, but there is, there are, right? La segunda vez, ya no lo lea. Échale solo una ojeadita rapidito, intente decirlo. Si pueden, eh, con la tercera vez, díganlo ya sin leerlo. There is a big room. Y, eh, Daniel, that's good. Solamente que con el there is, Siempre le agregamos a or an. Es lo único que me le hace falta ahí. A or an, lo demás está bien. Los plurales, right? Como lo tienen acá, por ejemplo, todos están en singular. There are blue and white walls. So, pluralizamos. There is, siempre lleva un a o ya sea un an. Si, por ejemplo, acá yo digo, there are, there are new, no necesito el a porque es plural, pero tengo que pluralizar esta palabra también. There is a big room. Exactly. There is a big room. Mm -hmm. That is the one. Es la forma adecuada. Very good. Eh, Chicos, ¿tienen dudas con el uso de is, del a? ¿Estamos bien? Sin miedo, sin pena. <laughs> Any doubt? ¿Algo que no haya quedado claro? 
Qué callados lo siento ahora. Creo que es por ser lunes, you know. I feel you like super quiet today. What's going on, guys? Yo que, <ríe> Creo que, yo que necesitaban yo, un día extra de, de fin de. <ríe> you can choose someone. And no, as... not right now, not right now. Uh, no. uh, when we come back, Why cuando not? regresemos, ah. when we come back, because now necesito que agarren un poquito de confianza, you know, necesito que lo practiquen para que desarrollemos confidence, number one, y desarrollemos un poquito de pronunciation and fluency. Cuando regresemos, sí, guys, sin piedad, víctimas, voluntarios, todo se va. <laughs> ok, ¿estamos listos? Are you ready? Well, hay una expresión en español que es como listos o no, allá vamos. Guys, vamos a practicar. <laughs> so let's get it started and practice. I'm going to send you two small groups. Practiquemos todas las veces que podamos en estos minutitos, right? And um, si hay algo que you're not sure, right? Let me know. Me llaman y con gusto yo llego por ahí. So, denme un segundo. Just a second. And we're good. Okay, guys, let's go. <laughs> Son solo cinco minutos. Let's go for five minutes. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
Hi guys. Oh. Hi. Hello. Hello. Me escuchan doble. Sí. No. No, solo cortado. Eh. Deme un segundo Se que me escucho doble. There is a, there is a scissor between us. A scissor between us. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hola, hola. Probando uno, dos, tres, sonido. <laughs> Lo que sucede es que estoy eh, en dos dispositivos, entonces eh, a veces se me olvida y dejo abierto el audio de uno en me escucho doble. But, pero ustedes no me escuchan doble, right? No. No, right oh. now. Okay. Am I breaking? No. I'm good. No me estoy quebrando tampoco. I'm not breaking. No. 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 Our was English my, teacher. Was just my computer. Yep. Our English is broke. No, no, no. You're doing an amazing <laughs> job. Guys, that was really good. No, I mean, I was, de hecho, estuve en todos los grupos. You did an amazing job. I, I'm really happy to the things that I heard. And as I told you, va a tomar un poquito de tiempo, pero la idea es agarrar confianza poco a poco, you know. Con el tiempo ya no lo van a leer. But para llegar a ese punto, vamos a presionarnos un poquito, right? Para volvernos más independientes. Um, guys, you, I want to finish today's uh, session with um, some volunteers. I want to know first if I have any volunteers. No quiero tener víctimas. Let's go with volunteers. I am a volunteer. All right. So, Rene first. I see Le Levin's hand up. All right. So, Levin, you go second. Anybody else? Alguien más? <clears throat> Well, let's start with you guys. Eh, para que todos tengan como, like, the chance to do it, les voy a dar solo 30 segundos. I'm going to give you 30 seconds, and then we can move on. All right. <laughs> so, uh, Rene, let's start with you. 30 seconds. Tell us about your office, I think. That can work. Um, and then we can select something else. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Uh, right, right now, I'm going to talk about my office. And I try to do so fast, right? Uh, I work in a bar. I don't have office right now because my office is reporting. Um, it's fixing. My... Yeah, thank you. thank you, Levy. Thank you, Levy. I love it. Um... Ah, thank you, bye. <laughs> okay, I spend my 30 seconds. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, there are a lot of tables in my job. There are a beautiful pool and there are a lot of hall call. There are a beautiful people. And there are a beautiful beach in front of my job. Um, there are some chairs. There are a beautiful ranch and there are beautiful trees. I think it's natural. Okay. And I'm sorry, I have to stop you. That was a very nice one. Good job. So that, that is new for me. I didn't know you worked in the near the beach. Very good, very good description. Um, solamente le voy a cambiar una palabrita que escuché there. Uh, you mentioned ranch. No sé si, si me equivoco, pero se refería como a los ranchitos de playa. O a las yeah. casitas de playa. That would be big. It's like a hot... Is, so, no, vamos hot. a cambiar, no, we It's are going to change the, the, the name for Beach House and there's a oh, ranch, okay. right? Oh, so Beach that House. Be, that would Amazing. be a Beach House. Thank mm -hmm. you, teacher. I, that was um, nice. Take note right now. Take note. Thank no you. worries. Okay, let I, me, let's go with your 30 seconds. Okay. I'm going to talk about uh, on my workplace, at my workplace. I am <clears throat> truck driver. And I'm going to describe that. Um, that there are two comfortable chairs. There are um, two comfortable bells. Um, there are two clean notebook. There are <clears throat> uh, two little pencil. 
And I'm sorry, I have to stop you. Time's over. Uh, why? There's a little time to chill. I it's need more 30 time. Seconds. It's 30 seconds. Yeah, but you did it nicely. Thank you, Renee. Thank you, Levin. Guys, los demás se me van salvando por la campana the second time. But no worries. Tenemos mañana, tenemos viernes, uh, perdón, tenemos miércoles. So I'm definitely going to listen to everybody these two days. <laughs> okay, no, you're not safe. Uh, chicos, unfortunately, el tiempo se nos va volando. It goes flying super fast. Uh, solo les voy a tomar asistencia really quick. Recordarles el uso de la plataforma, right? De ser posible, quienes me hacen falta, terminamos la entre ahora y mañana y ya nos quedamos más tranquilos. Me regalan confirmación verbal, please. Mm -hmm. Amanda. Presente, teacher. Gracias, Kale. Presente, teacher. Gracias, Candy. Candy. Gracias, Carol. Present. Thank you. Christian. Present. Thank Present. you so much. Daniel. It's okay. It's fine. Present. Thank you. Delmi. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Estela. Present teacher. Thank you, Fatima. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Iris, Morticia. Present teacher. Thank you, the girl from the, with the Christmas tree. <laughs> I don't forget it. Um, Irish Barrera. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Julio. Present teacher. Mr. Julio. There we go. Thank you. Levin. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Lisette. Present. Thank you. Marta. Present, teacher. Amazing. Renee. Present. Thank you. Ileana. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And Kenny. Here, teacher. Thank you so much. All right. Great. Guys, amazing. Gracias por la asistencia. Gracias por estar acá súper tempranito. Nos quedan dos clases más. Los veo el día de mañana a las 8 en punto, please. De hecho, yo entro como 10 minutos antes por si quieren, you know, um, unirse más temprano. Eh, tengo ahora one on one con Lisette. Si me puede regalar un par de segunditos, Lisette, se lo agradecería. That would be amazing. Uh, guys, los demás no mañana, see you tomorrow. Night, see night. you tomorrow, night. teacher. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Teacher. Bye. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. Teacher. Yep. Uh, we're going to do uh, the test at the end. This mall. Oh, guys, guys. Well, is our gracias por interrumpirme, Levin. Uh, antes, antes que se me vayan todos. Number one thing, ahora recibieron la, la encuesta de satisfacción de Instagram. Porfa, sí. no la vean, omítanla, imagínense que no la recibieron. <ríe> no la vayan a abrir, no la vayan a completar, porfa, porque ese es un requisito, pero debemos de hacerlo el último día. So, porfa, eh, no la vean, ignórenla, déjenla en visto. De eh, hecho, no se puede abrir, teacher. Ay, en serio. No, solamente es informativo nada más. Y, o sea, si usted quiere abrirla, no se puede. Por lo menos yo lo intenté, le seré sincera. Pero no se puede. <risa> en abril, no. <risa> en serio. Qué sinceridad. <risa> déjeme revisar nuevamente, porque si se puede. Déjeme confirmar. Pues Pero... ahí estaba el link, más no Ajá. pude entrar. O sea, yo quise hacer la encuesta justo cuando me llegó el mensaje, pero no pude. De ahí le pregunté a Iliana, que es mi otra compañera, igual no, no se pudo. Así que, por lo menos, nosotras dos confirmamos. Better. <ríe> sí, déjenlo Así que estamos para el final. Sí, perfecto, perfecto. Eh, y debemos de completar este el examen, Levin. So, completamos todo, absolutamente toda la plataforma antes del día miércoles, que es la finalización. Eh, durante la sí, clase yo, no, no lo hacemos. Sí, yo no, yo de hecho le estaba preguntando al final, pero al final del módulo. Todo, a I mí mean, todo. Ajá, cuando usted Ajá. revisa su progreso en la plataforma. El examen final le marca, si no me equivoco, como 20 o 25, es lo que le sube todo el porcentaje. So, ah, sí, yo, 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 le, yo le decía, en vez de eso, en vez de todo lo que ya hicimos, o sea, en vez de los módulos de 1 al 4, en vez de lo demás, de las no, de la, de la, 
la parte, la parte como escrita, digamos, solo es la plataforma. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Sí, hacemos actividades uh -huh. orales, pero no, no, no hay. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you. No worries. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Let me have you tomorrow. just for a minute. Bye. <laughs> There we go. Thank you, Lisa. Gracias por quedarse un par de minutitos. Le voy a robar here a couple of minutes para nuestra one-on-one. -on -one. Eh, creo que es la primera one-on-one -on -one que tiene, ¿verdad? This is going to be sí. the first. Sí, te Le comento, la one on one no es como un big deal. <risa> bueno, pero de hecho es como la oportunidad de, de tener esta, este acercamiento. A veces durante la clase da un poco de, de pena o no, uno no se siente como muy cómodo haciendo algunas preguntas eh, porque somos como 23, ¿verdad? Entonces el one on one es para eso, para clarificar alguna duda, para practicar si hay algún tema de pronunciación con el que está teniendo dificultades o algo de la plataforma que no le deje pasar o con lo que no lo puede lograr completar um, o solamente practicamos un ratito um, first eh, me gustaría escucharla y you uno know? <laughs> cómo se siente en este módulo es la primera vez que estudia inglés is this the first time no no es the first time I study in the past for one year but ah. for the pan pandemia For the virus. Uh -huh. este, you stopped. Yes, I am stopped. And uh, now I'm commencing starting again. Uh -huh. So you are starting, start. you are started over from level number one. Why module one? <laughs> Because you can speak nicely, you can communicate very well. Yes, you think that. I, I have heard you. Le he escuchado algunas veces en las sesiones one on one. No le había tenido la oportunidad de decirlo, but, but I think that you communicate quite well. Tiene muy bonita entonación. So uh, I'm asking you this because, um, yeah, probablemente this module no tenga como la oportunidad de de recordar todo lo que ya había estudiado, but I think that you're doing a very nice job. Um, y la escucho participar, you know, give examples, so that's very good. That sounds yes. nice. Um, I have a problem with the okay. vocabulary. Sometimes okay. I don't know how to say any words. Okay. Yes. So uh, up, to, up to this point, Do you consider, what is the most difficult thing for you? Like reading, speaking, listening, writing? Listening. Listening is the difficult. Listening. Yes. Listening. Do you listen to music or yes. to the news? A lot of music. And okay. I have a question. Yes, tell me. I can use a crower for say, For example, when I eat a lot of comida. Crowded. Ah, the word I'm crowded. Uh -huh. No, no. Mm -hmm. Like when you eat a lot and your body is like, and your stomach is like. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, no, I would say full. I'm full. I'm full. Yes. So full is better. Crowded is more just for people, uh -huh. like crowded places. For a place. place. Yes, or, yeah, mostly for places. But for your stomach, for example, that would be full. Or if you have a car and you go to the gas station and you're talking about the tank, so you can say, oh, the car is full, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have okay. checked, like, motorcycles and cars. They have a letter F. Tienen una F, right? Mm -hmm. So that's for full. Uh -huh, like, está lleno. So that would be for liquid. Full, uh, for water, for a bottle, for your stomach. So that would be full. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have another question. Yes. What is miss, messy and tidy? Oh, sure. Um, so, messy. Is yes. the opposite of tidy. 
but not Lionel Messi, right? That's so different. <laughs> okay. So, Tahiti is a place that is organized, right? Uh, so, Tahiti can be one person or can be a place. If your bed and if your room is very organized, your room is tidy. If you are an organized person, you are a tidy person. Messy is the opposite, disorganized. Exactly. So are you tidy or are you a messy person? I'm messy. Okay. <laughs> is, is your room tidy or is your room messy? Right now it's messy. Okay, yeah, my room too. <laughs> I just threw the clothes. Yeah, so I have, I don't have shoes or clothes, sino que tengo cables. I have cables everywhere. <laughs> so I own the floor. Yeah, like for my computer, the fan, everything. So it's a mess. So you can say, um, I am messy, right? I am messy. Como yo soy desordenada. Or you can say, for example, my room, my room is messy. My bed is messy, right? Está desordenada. Or you can use the opposite that is tidy. Like, soy una persona ordenada. I am a tidy, I am a tidy person. Or my room is tidy. My room is tidy. Como de ordenado, right? So, es otra forma de decir también organized, disorganized, like messy and tidy. Mm -hmm. okay. Those are them. And narrow and wide. Okay. So, narrow, narrow and wide. All right. So, that can be for objects, that can be for places. Most of the time, son dimensiones. For example, um, what can I say is narrow? Estoy buscando algo, but I don't find it. So narrow is estrecho. Podría ser, por ejemplo, como un zapato, digamos, que un zapato le quede como muy apretado. So the shoe is narrow. Uh, or puede ser un, un, un room, right? Como una habitación puede ser demasiado estrecha. So that can be too narrow. An office can be narrow. En wide es lo opuesto, de ancho. Algunos zapatos, de hecho, eh, no sé si ha ido a comprar alguna vez que el zapato le marca, si es talla 6, dice eh, 6NW, especialmente los de Payless, he, vis he visto que dicen esto. So, wide es porque son anchos, es un 6 ancho. Um, hay otra mm. palabra en español, en el salvadoreño que usamos, pero no recuerdo. Uh, ya, yeah, pero es de white, significa que son, es un 6 normal, pero el zapato es como más amplio, son más ancho. Son solo okay. para dimensiones, white and narrow. Mm -hmm. Ok. I think that's it. That's it, all right. Perfect. If you have any, like, issue, si tiene alguna dificultad con la platform or any extra question, me puede escribir y con gusto la revisamos, no worries. Gracias, Miss, por quedarse. I'm sorry, ya le robé unos minutitos. <laughs> ya la dejo ir a dormir tranquilamente. Bye. And good I'll night. see you tomorrow. Okay, I see you tomorrow. Bye. Have a good, good night. Bye-bye.